geometry and algebra questions involving uh, shapes and solids. Now, in this uh, revision for today, right, we'll be working on some of the questions that involves uh, different formulas for the solids. So, and then they are involved using algebra. So, we have to write down expressions and form equations, and then after that, we try to solve them. So, now some of these questions have already been done and gone through uh, before in TYS. So, without further ado, we shall begin. Okay, for example, in this question, so I have a solid cylinder, radius is RCM, and height is HCM. So if I have a cylinder and I have a solid hemisphere, hemisphere, right? This one, the key word is hemisphere. So we must remember to have half if you are looking for uh, the volume, or if you are looking for a surface area, there will be an additional circle over here, right? So now the volumes of the cylinder and hemisphere are equal. What is this statement for? This statement is actually for you to form an equation. So it's telling you that the volume of the cylinder is equal to the volume of the hemisphere. So volume of cylinder equals to the volume of hemisphere. So if we have these two, we shall begin and trying to find the relationship first. So what are the expressions that I have for volume of cylinder? I have the height and I have the radius. So volume of cylinder is the base area, which is a circle, pi r squared times the height of the cylinder and equals to volume of a hemisphere. So if it's a hemisphere, I need to have a half times. So the volume of hemisphere, the formula is given by 4 over 3, so it's overflow, right? So the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Then this is pi r volume, so it's pi r cube. Okay, so in this case, what do I have down here? But they asked me to work out the, in terms of r, the total surface area of the cylinder. Well, I can't get to the question directly yet, but maybe let us uh, simplify this expression. Now you notice that I have h here. So what is this? Whole information, what's the purpose of this information? What do they want me to find actually for this part? So actually it's to make H in terms of R. So it's to express H in terms of R. So I try to cancel away some, simplify away some uh, common things that is given. So I have pi, I can cancel away pi. I have R square, I can cancel away R square and give me one left with one R. And then I can simplify this, this will be 2 over 3. So from here, this expression is telling me that I can actually find h to be equals to 2 third r. So the moment I know this now, what does this tell me? That means in the future, when I see h, I'm going to replace it by 2 third r. Now, I'm going to try to answer the question. The question asks me to find the total surface area of cylinder. So what is the formula for total surface area of cylinder? So total surface area of cylinder, but we have two circles on top, one on top, one below. It's a solid cylinder, right? And then the curved surface area. So formula for the curved surface area, I'm going to take the circumference times the height. So this is given by 2 pi r times the height, h, but what am I going to put for h now? Plus, I have um, two circles, so it's pi r square times two, two times, one top, one below. So what is the height now? The height now, h, I shall replace it by this yellow one that we have found previously. This is two over three r, okay? And then given this, we shall try to figure out what is the uh, simplify the expression. I have um, 2 pi r, 2 times 2 over 3, that will give me 4 over 3 numbers first. Pi is still pi. r times r gives me r squared. And this is 2 pi r squared. So what do you notice? I notice that I have pi r squared and pi r squared. They are actually of the same unit. So actually, if I have it in total, I'll just take 4 over 3 plus 2. So 4 over 3 units plus 2 units. But for algebra, we're going to not, not going to leave it in mixed number. We're going to change it to improper fraction. 
so that will give me 10 over 3 pi r squared. So the answer over here is 10 over 3 pi r squared. Have you got to the answer? Now next, we are going to move on to the next question. This question here involves a cone and a hemisphere. So we need to try to remember the, some of the formulas for cone and hemisphere. So uh, cone, the formula for cone, anything sharp, sorry, anything sharp will have one third pi r square h. That's for the formula for the volume of cone. Or the curved surface area will be pi r l. Then what about the hemisphere? So if I have a hemisphere, the solid for the volume will be um, half times 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Or if I want the curved surface area, that will be 4 pi r squared. So if you do not know this formula, you will be given inside your formula sheet as well. So you need to remember it. Okay, the diagram shows a solid consisting of a right circular cone and a hemisphere with a common base. The height and the basis radius of the cone are h and h minus 4 respectively. It is known that the volume of the cone is equal to the volume of the hemisphere. Why do they give me this statement? Well, they want me to form an equation or something and try to solve for or make an expression, right? So in this case, I'm going to solve it out by finding the volume of the cone first. So volume of cone is equal to the volume of hemisphere. To write down the information that they give me, now I'm going to try to plug in values. Volume of cone, anything sharp, have one third. Base area is pi r squared h. Right? But what is the radius now? The radius in this case is h minus 4, whole thing square, and then the height is letter h. I do not know what they want me to get or what they want me to do yet, so I just leave it here. Then next, how to find the volume of a hemisphere? Hemisphere will involve a half hemisphere, right? Times 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So what's the r cubed? The r cubed means it's h minus 4 whole thing h okay, or rather uh, the radius is h minus 4 right so it's h minus 4 whole thing cube. so now i'm stuck a little bit with some of the expression so what i can do is i'm sure try to cancel out anything similar and i have pi over here i have a one third i can cancel with a denominator this one can simplify left with two so there's no more denominator it's just two so what i have now um, let me simplify it for you. I have h minus 4 squared times h to be equals to 2. Oh, no more fraction. So it's just 2. 2 times h minus 4 whole thing cube. Why is h minus 4 whole thing cube? This one is h minus 4 squared, right? This is h minus 4 cube. So I can actually split it up into h minus 4 times h minus 4. This is h minus 4, h minus 4, h minus 4. Correct? So how much can we cancel? Out? I can cancel this, one pair, two pairs. So these are all gone. So what does that mean? I'm left with a h is equals to 2 times of h minus 4. What do you think I can do? I shall expand and simplify. So h equals to 2h minus 8. This is telling me to solve for the value of h. So I'm going to try to find what is h. So 2h, um, I shall bring my h over and bring 8 over. Now this one goes over to the other side, it become positive, right? And this one comes with will be negative. So in this case, this is telling me that h is equals to 8cm. So, uh -huh, I found the value for h. So, if I found the value for h, the height is now h, 8. Then what will be my radius? My radius will be now 4. So, the height is now uh, 8. The radius is now 4. 8 minus 4, 4 cm. Okay.
Now they asked me to find the total surface area of the solid. Now this solid has how many different parts? The solid itself has the curved surface area, which is given by the formula pi r l. <gasps> but do I know what is l? I don't know what's l, right? But I know that this is e. This is four. How can I find the slanted height l? Well, the height l in this case is given by Pythagoras theorem. So it's the hypotenuse, so it'll be 8 square plus 4 square square root. And let's see what we get. 8 square plus 4 square. I got a number of 8.9443 estimated by SM. So I have this one already. Then I need to know the curved surface area of my hemisphere, so this is half. Formula for curved surface area will be pi r, 4 pi r squared. Okay, but then do I need to include the circle? This circle over here? No, right? Because this is not an external surface, this is inside. So this is not on the outer surface area. So I'm not going to add that. So my total surface area of the solid will only have pi. R L my radius is now four, the length is now eight point nine four four three. Plus the curve surface area at the bottom, half times four, pi r squared. The radius is now four squared. And then I have gotten my answer. So I key everything into my calculator, and I shall be able to get my answer. Okay, after key into my calculator, I got the number 212.92893. So rounded off is about approximately 213cm squared. Have you gotten the answer? Okay, next question. Question number six. This solid is made from a cylinder and a hemisphere. So the cylinder has a radius r and a height 2r. So the hemisphere has a radius 3R. So there's uh, quite a couple of uh, different uh, radius that's going on. So we must make sure we get the correct radius. Okay, and everything is in terms of R. So probably we can simplify everything in terms of R as well. So into one single, fraction, uh, single expression. Now find an expression in terms of pi and R for the total surface area of the solid. So if I look at the total surface area of this solid, right, there are many different parts so I shall go part by part. So now one thing is I'm going to look from the top view. So if I have the top view, right, this is the first small circle. This is radius r. Then outside it from the top view, right, I will have another ring. Okay, uh, this portion. So actually it's uh, this portion plus this, the one over here. Okay, but if I were to combine these two circles and flatten it down together, these two surfaces, number one, Okay, the number one surface and this number two surface over here, one and two, actually forms a circle. So the area, surface area of this portion is actually just a circle and the radius is 3R. So now this area, I'm going to find part by part. So area of this is equal to pi R squared. Now remember, the radius is 3R, so it's 3R whole thing squared. So the common mistake is that student will write pi times 3r squared, then the square only apply for r, but it's not true. So this square must apply for the number, the mean, and the r as well. So it's 3r whole thing squared. So in this case, we'll get uh, 3 squared is number 9, and then pi, then r squared. Okay, so this is my top. So these two have already given. Then the next one over here, I have the curved surface area. So I need to have this portion, this curved surface area. Okay, so this curved surface area over here is given by the formula. Curved surface area is circumference 2 pi r times the height. So area is equal to the circumference 2 pi r. What r is this times the height? What is the radius? So the radius in this case here, right, is 3R, which is here, and the height is 2R. 
So this is R and the height is 2R. So now we shall simplify this and then we'll get um, 2 pi. So 2 times 2 is actually 4. So it's not 2. So this is going to be 4 pi R squared. Okay, so that's the area for the portion. And finally, I do not need to do portion number 2 already. Do portion number 3. So this is number 3. And then I'm just left with portion number for the last part, area of the hemisphere. Okay, so uh, in some of you, your formula book, right, will have the hemisphere with the circle, with this, um, this, this circle over here. Well, that is not necessary, okay, because the circle in this case has already been added to the first one, which is the yellow color, um, first one and two already. So I do not need to add one more circle, I just need to find the... Uh, curve hemis surface area of this hemisphere over here, which is half times 4 pi r squared. So it would be 2 pi r squared. Okay, so some of you, your uh, formula book will give you 3 pi r squared. The 3 pi r squared includes the top, this portion, but this portion I've already added in already, so I'm not going to use it. Okay, so in this case, I just want the curve surface area by this side. Okay. So the radius here is 3R. So I'm going to use the curve surface area. Area is half times 4 pi R squared. The radius is 3R. So remember, radius is 3R. I need to square the 3. The 3 square needs to go to 3 and R itself. So first, let me calculate all the numbers. Half times 4 is 2. 2 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, yeah? 2 squared is 9, so 2 times 9 is 18 pi r squared. Now if I want the total surface area, I add everything together, 9 pi r squared plus 4 pi r squared plus 18 pi r squared. You know, since everything all has the same units, right? Pi r square, pi r square, and pi r square. So I'm going to only add the 9, 4, and 18. 9 plus 4 plus 18. That gives me 31 pi r square. Okay, have you gotten the answer? Now we shall move on to part B. Part B says that another solid is made from a cylinder with two hemispheres. Right, the cylinder has radius r and length two r. Do you find that these two questions are actually quite similar? They all like to use r and two r. Okay, but now it's made up of the two hemisphere of the same size with the same radius. So now question two hemisphere will actually made up one sphere, right? In terms of the volume or in terms of the curve surface area, okay. So now the total surface area of the solid is twice the total surface area of cone. Oh my god, what is it talking about? So what do you think they are trying to give me this information for? They're trying to ask me to form an equation, isn't it? So I'm gonna write down my um form the equation first. So total area total surface area of solid is twice so it's two equals to two times total surface area of cone oh cone with a height radius r what's the solid total surface area of cone cone looks like that so what's the formula for total surface area of cone total surface area of cone will have the curve surface area pi r f but is that it if this is going to be a solid, right, then you have another pi r squared at the bottom. Okay, so, and then it says two times of this whole thing. So, I'm going to quickly fill up two bracket total surface area of the cone with a radius r. So, they say radius is r, right? So, it's pi r and slant height is l plus the base area pi r squared. Okay. Then now they say total surface area of this solid. So this solid itself. What 
is the total surface area of the soil. It's made up of two hemispheres, which is a sphere, right? So surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And then I have the cross surface area of a cylinder. So in this case, it's 4 pi r squared. Curve surface area of cylinder will be taking the circumference times the length. So this will be circumference is 2 pi r times the height. The height is now 2r. Okay, so the height is now 2r. Then in this case, we'll be able to try to, from, we have the equation already, so we're going to try to expand and simplify. And then last but not least, they want to find L in terms of R. Okay, we'll try to do that. So let's simplify our question first. So I have 4 pi r squared. 2 times 2 will be 4 pi r squared as well. So total is 8 pi r squared. Now this time, I shall try to do my expansion. So this is 2 times pi r l, and that is 2 pi r squared. Okay, since I want um, something to do with L, right? So I'll show 2, two pi r l over here. And then I'll try to shift 2 pi r squared over to the other side. So this will be 4 pi r squared. Subtract this is bring over 2 pi r squared. Let's see what does this give me. 4, they all have the same unit to me. So I will have 4 plus 4 minus 2 and that will give me 6 pi r squared to be equals to 2 pi r l. Okay, we are almost there already. Now I want only to have l. I do not want 2 pi r. So I'm going to divide away by 2 and that will give me 3. I'm going to cancel away pi. I'm going to divide away by 1 r. Wait, okay, I'm left with r squared by r left out. So I will have a 3 um, 3 pi r squared. Oh no, why not I do it this way? Wait, I'm asking you later. So this one, I would rather have 6 pi r squared, 2 pi r l, divide by 2 pi r, divide by 2 pi r. Simplify, I'll get l to be equals to 3 r. So l in terms of r, l is the subject, so l is equals to 3 r. Answer. Have you gotten your answer? Well, if you've gotten your answer, um, this component will be tested in your upcoming test as well. So please do a quick revision and memorize up all the different formulas for the different solids. So while we still have a little bit of space, let us try to do a quick summary sheet on all the different formulas for your objects. Okay, so now let me add on a, another page. So now, currently, what have we revised on, and uh, what are some of the objects that we know of? First one, we should start with a cylinder. Okay, so what is the formula for, okay, if this is radius r, and I have a height h, what's the formula for a curved surface area? Do you know? So curved surface area will be given to be? 2 pi r h. What about the volume of cylinder? Volume of cylinder is the base area, which is a circle, pi r square times h. Alright, next one, we have a cone. What is the curved surface and the volume of a cone? If this is the radius r and I have a height h, so the volume of a cone is given by one third, anything sharp will have one third, pi r square h. Then what about the area? So it will have two different components. One is the curved surface area. So the curved surface area is just pi r l, and how do I find the l? 
L is the Pythagoras theorem, P squared plus R squared. Okay, if I want the total surface area, so the total surface area will have the pi R L plus this is total surface area of solid cone. Okay, and not much together plus the base area pi r squared. Okay. Then what about hemisphere? Instead of a normal sphere, I shall draw for a hemisphere. Okay, so for the volume of hemisphere. We have half times 4 over 3 pi r volume, volume r cube. What about the curved surface area? Curved surface area of hemisphere will be half times 4 pi r squared. What about if it's a total surface area? So total surface area will have this 4 pi r squared which is equal to 2 pi r squared. Plus the area of the circle over here. Okay. So, oops. So this circle over here will be pi r squared. So that's why some of the formula books or whichever they give you a 3 pi r squared. But it's not necessarily so all the time. Huh? So you must take note of the question whether is this surface, this circle over here necessary. So with that, we'll come to the end of our lesson for this part. Okay, there might be more of other types of formulas. Now I'm just talking about solids in this case. There can be also cases of like involving parallelogram, trapezium, rectangle, circle, and so on and so forth. So there can be a couple of different types of combination questions. So please do uh, take a look up for all these kind of questions. Alright, with that, I shall end for the lesson for today. See ya!